guys, it's Jazzy with Black Digital Nomad and I have a new video for you all today. I wanted to talk to you guys about the actual cons of living abroad as a digital nomad. Last week I focused on all the great things but some things are not so great. I'd rather focus on the good than the bad but I can let you guys in on um, some of the things you may experience when living abroad. So number one is people are going to leave, okay? You'll meet wonderful, magnificent, great people that you're so aligned with and eventually those people are gonna be like, adios, I'm off to the next place. Um, so that is one thing, you gotta master the art of letting go. Number two is the impact of being away from home when something happens, um, whether that's good or bad. For instance, um, my cousin, had a baby and I missed the baby's birth, I missed baby showers, the baby's first birthday. Um, I was able to eventually meet my little cousin. And um, I've only seen her once and I've basically been watching her grow up over the internet. Um, also, you know, when there's hard times in life, you know, my grandmother passed while I was away and um, I did not make it back to the funeral. And also, my husband's dad just died, and so he had to go back home. Fortunately, he was able to make it back before his father passed. But sometimes, um, people pass before you're able to make it home. Um, I have a friend who shared a story with me that he got to the airport and his um, father died. And so, that part kind of sucks. Number three is the culture shock. For me, I'm from America, I'm from Los Angeles, and so I've interacted with all different types of people. However, it can be very different when you are in their um, environment, okay? So sometimes you have no idea what people are talking about. Um, here in Vietnam, people walk up to me and touch my hand. Um, they will ask, I'm thinking they're asking. I don't know Vietnamese, so I think they're saying, Can I touch your hair? Uh. But people are constantly wanting to touch me, touch my hair or my skin. And for me, it doesn't bother me all the time. Sometimes I just don't feel like being bothered and I will wear my hair like this. Um, but you know, people are staring, people are laughing, people are pointing. And it really takes you having tough skin and being comfortable with yourself enough to know that they're not laughing at you. They are curious, you know. Everyone ha doesn't have the experience to travel the world and see different people. Some of these people have never left their village or their the city that they were born in, and so they just don't see different types of people. Number four, pantry isn't as stocked as it used to be, so I do have some difficulties with that. Um, number five is having to rely on the internet to work, okay? Um, which is a great thing, honestly, but sometimes, you know, if you have a call, a meeting, uh, if you teach English online and your internet goes out, you're fucked. You know, there have been times where I've jumped up out of bed at 5.30 a.m. and I'm running to the nearest coffee shop to make a call, okay? Uh, because my job is on the line. So I definitely think that it's a, higher pro than it is a con, but definitely having to rely on the internet can be difficult sometimes. Number six is the food. Um, sometimes you just miss things that you are more familiar with. Uh, for me, I am a health nut, so I'm very co conscious of the things that I eat, and um, sometimes it's just difficult to find things, and so I have to keep nuts on me, blah 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 six is that you are reminded that you are a immigrant okay and so you don't have the same rights as other people you have to be very careful and tread lightly when doing things and there's also depending on where you are visa runs okay and a visa run is when your visa is up and so you have to leave the country you have to leave for a little while go see somewhere else that can be great, you know, it's a great way to get those stamps in your passport. However, sometimes a visa run is just not ideal at the time. Uh, my friend Joy came to visit me last December and in the middle of her trip, I had to go out of the country on a visa run and it just was kind of irritating. But I was grateful that I was able to, you know, live abroad so that my friend, my best friend can come and visit me for her birthday. So for me, whenever it's a con, I look at the, the positive side of it, you know, but these things do 
happen. Number eight is just having supplies, like having things readily available to you. Now the internet does make it easier, so you can buy things over online or whatever, but it is more expensive. But in the long haul, you are saving so much money on your living expenses that to buy a few things that you need, um, isn't really a big deal but you do have to find them so like me I can't find Dr. Bronner's soap different things that I just want to use day to day it's difficult to find sometimes okay so you have to make adjustments um, yeah I think that's pretty much it um, so yeah those are the things that kind of suck about being a digital nomad but then again the pros definitely outweigh the cons wait that right anyways the pros outweigh the cons I'm absolutely um, I'm totally grateful for this opportunity to even be able to live abroad um, and work remotely and have location independence and if location independence is something that you can that you would like to achieve go ahead and reach out to me we can do a consultation or you can sign up for my next masterclass